This is going to be a really hard one to explain because I know what it feels like to be a human being having doubtful thoughts. But take this into consideration. If everything is what you believe, then the idea of dinosaurs and the idea of extinction, the idea of uh, extinction level event, the idea of all those things, the idea of evolution is what caused it. The belief in evolution is what caused it. The belief in Genesis is what makes a, uh, a person who believes in Christ a, a reality if they believe it. The reality of a different religion is, is also real and it's happening for the people who follow that religion. Uh, people don't have any religion at all and they think the world is great, it seems great. People who think the world is negative, the world is, seems negative. Well, these are all different belief systems. When a combined amount of people believe that the world is in trouble and chaos, the negative energies of, appear in whatever forms, like asteroids, something big enough to engulf the Earth. Like, all people have to do is stop being afraid that that'll happen, and it can't possibly happen. I know that sounds ridiculous, but think about the fact that all those times when those things could have possibly happened were by beings that nobody is really here to experience. Nobody here can say that there is a dinosaur for sure, but oh, I found this little bone, and we put up this thing that I think it would look like, and then somehow it appears in the ground so we can dig it up and make bone structures that look like something from the past. Don't you think that since we do cause things with our minds, and I'm understanding that you can go in the future and come back, which is basically thinking about something and living in the future instead of living in the past. The people that are thinking that there's going to be extinction are living in their memory or their thought of what they think the past is. And they think the past repeats itself. The truth is, nothing repeats itself unless you repeat your thought process. That has to be something you ingrain in your mind and realize that the world can't end for you if you don't think it will. Because it doesn't. So don't be afraid of a ball of fire. What we do, you're more powerful than fire. If you don't think you are, yeah, maybe it can burn you, but you can contain it in a little lighter. And it's up to you to make it work because you believe that flicking it will make it work. You believe that certain things make it happen because your belief makes it happen. So if you don't believe that you could pull a giant ball into the earth to destroy it, then you definitely can't. It's not just probably, it's definitely you can't. So when people tell you every 26,000 years, this asteroid comes and destroys us. And they're like, and we're at 25,998, so in two more years, it's going to destroy us. And everyone's like, oh my God, the pattern is following the pattern. Stop thinking that way. Stop believing scientists. That's worse than religion, because they're trying to prove that you're going to die on a certain day. And religions say that all oh, the end is coming, and then science says the end is at this day. Belief says, Nothing can happen unless I say it so. I prefer to choose in belief, especially when I never believed that clouds were controllable with your mind. I never believed lightning was controllable with your mind. But then I also never thought about the fact that all those things that I hear go into my mind. And if I don't believe that the world can end, the world will not end. So people will sit there worrying about the world end, and my belief is so strong that it won't, that it won't. And they're going to sit around being worried about it ending. In the back of their minds, that's still stuck there. Get rid of that. Know that you cannot die. And you will, and somehow there will be a miraculous shift where these uh, giant balls of gas that once threatened to crash into us somehow have changed course. That'll happen if you start believing it will. Stop thinking we're going to die. Deep down in the back of your mind, just know that we're fine. That's all you have to do.